How's it going everybody? It's Ed here and welcome to Game Dev Tycoon, a game where you develop games. Okay, so let's do a little bit of an explanation here. Um, I just got done recording episode 7 of uh, Forager. And throughout the episode, there were a little bit of, there were, there were a couple difficulties here and there, you know, of, uh, uh, you know, in, in terms of like recording and everything like that. And I thought it was, it, I thought it just came down to low disk space and all that sort of stuff. And it did, you know, and then I, something happened for the life of me. I have no idea. I'm not even trying to be funny. I have no clue what happened, but all of my data got deleted. So that's three hours of Forager completely down the drain. And I'm just not even going to remotely try and put everybody through that all over again. Ay, ay, ay. So we're just going to... Plus, I've been wanting to play this game anyway. And maybe it's fate. Who knows? But we're just gonna we're just gonna start playing game dev and we're gonna jump straight into it. Alright, boys. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you've been transported back in time to start your brand new game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next thirty-five wow, thirty-five years you can build your dream company, create best selling games, gain fans, become the leader of the market. Before you can start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming company a name. Oh no. What's the company name? What's our company name? It should be Let's see. Games. <laughs> That's terrible. What should it, what should our company name be? Let's see. You got Bethesda. You got uh, EA. Let's just do EB. Let's do e company name is EB. Oh no, but their EA stands for Electronic Arts. Uh, let's. Wow, I genuinely don't even know. Um. What's a what's a good company name? It should be the bo the boys the boys the bo the wow the boys the boys have made another beautiful game. Player name Ed Ed Boy. There. Uh, you can't like. Okay, can we get like a swanky ass sweater on? A uh, fantastic. We're gonna be, we're gonna be, no, actually, you know what, hold on, let's not be, let's not be conceited here. What's options? 35 years, okay. Pirate mode. The pirate mode causes severely reduced sales in all your games. Bankruptcy is likely. You can develop copy protection, but using it will upset fans. Fan mail inspired by true events will reach your inbox from time to time. So, cause severely reduced sales in all your games. What, cause people are like pirating them? Okay. Uh, and then you can, Jesus Christ, 30 years or 42? We're gonna go 35. Uh, okay, I think we should just make, like, a completely different type of, like, character in, 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 entirely, instead of trying to, like, make it about me, you know? Uh, hold on, let's move this again. There we go. Uh, uh, oh my god, what should the company name be? I didn't even think about this. Uh, <laughs> uh, shit, boys, Wow. I actually can't think of anything. A good company name for our company. What in the world? It's gonna be, okay, look, we got Bethesda. Okay, we got EA. We got, um, why are the, why are those the only two that I can think of? Insomniac Games is also, okay, I like that. Ed, Ed Gate, no. Uh, Narco, Narco. Narcoleptic games. There, you got insomnia and you got narcolepsy. Narcoleptic games. I hope I spelled that right. My name is going to be Turns. Here we go. Ready? And we're off. If you ever want to review the tutorial messages, then you can do so in the help menu. To access the help menu and other features such as saving, loading, uh, escape to access main menu. Okay. Regularly you start your game development company. The moment your office is in a garage and you are the only employee, but don't worry, many schools business start out this way. So the the first game was mentioned, click anyone on the screen to bring in the action menu. Oh, supporter, support a young startup, buy the game. Me? Yeah, I did. Oh, the resol wow. The resolution for me and everyone else is terrible. Hold on, let's I had no idea that was gonna happen. Settings, gameplay, audio, toggle full screen. No, I can't change the resolution or anything i have to just sort of sit here and deal with this okay great 
Really? There's nothing else I can do? Well, alright, I guess we've just got terrible resolution then. Develop new game. Here we go. Before development can be uh, can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. You can also select which graphic technology your game should use. Just to learn, once you have a bit of experience, you'll be able to unlock new options. Uh, game number one. What should be our first? What should be our first game? I want to start a franchise. Oh shit! I want to start a franchise. Hold on. Listen, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I was using that word correctly. I want to start a series. I want to call it Can't Can't Sleep. All right, pick a topic. Uh, it's gonna be about UFOs. It's gonna be a what type of game? Okay, I think okay, we should be a niche company. All right, we should do like action RPG strategy games. Like, well, I don't want to. No, I said action. I want to do adventure RPG strategy games. So let's do an adventure game, right? And it's gonna be for the G64, or the PC. Uh, market share. We'll do G64 for now. All right. It's gonna cost twenty-five thousand to make this. All right, can't sleep. It's text-based or it's got 2D graphics. And that means it's gonna cost more. We'll do text-based for now because we don't want to spend too much money. All right, game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, decide what areas the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus, the game to increase points. All right, think about what areas are important for your game. Decrease focus on areas you think are less important. All right, now then, gameplay, story quests, engine. No. Story, gameplay, I want to have a good balance. All right, so let's do a little bit less gameplay. And a little, I want to focus more on the story. I want the stories to be good, okay? So we're going to do that. I want to focus a little bit more on the story for the first one. Because I want to, I want to, I want to bring you in. I want to bring you in with the, with the story and everything. You know what I'm saying? The gameplay, I want that to be a little bit, uh, I want that to be a little bit on the, on the sidelines a little bit. You know what I mean? But I don't want to completely like rule it out. Game of is now started. Hooray. While developing a game, you will generate game points, which you can set, which you can see bubbling. You can run into design points and technology points. What points you generate, the better the game will be. Uh, for that, it will be butt points generated. Points become less likely once you can experience. Butt should be fixed before the game is released. Yeah, well, uh, increase value in time and cost. Okay, I'm not going to do the low-hanging fruit, which is, oh, you can't release a game that doesn't have bugs until that's EA. Whatever. Well, no, I'm not going to do that. Development stage two. Okay, dialogues, level design, and artificial intelligence. Okay, okay, okay. Dialogue, I kind of want the dialogue to be pretty good. Level design, I'm not really worried too much about that. And the AI, we're going to bring the AI up a little bit. No, you know what? I kind of want the level design to be good. AI is going to be a little bit down. Dialogue is going to be about the same. Dialogue is going to be a little bit better. I kind of want to do dialogue to be pretty good. Okay. So we got that. Now we got the dialogue set up. All right, it's a UFO adventure. I don't even know what that means. It's an adventure game, right? Maybe you get abducted by aliens and you have to find your way off, but then you start to become friends with some of the aliens on board and then they eventually try and help you escape. But then the captain of the alien spaceship is like, nah, son, you're not going anywhere. And then you find yourself in the middle of space and you've got these band of aliens who want to help you get off. And then you not only have to stop the alien, the, 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 the alien captain, right, from like selling you on some sort of like intergalactic black market but you also have to figure out how to pilot the ships and you get back so that you can get back to earth and then you can also save your new alien friends from the awful tyranny of the alien commander who's also piloting the ship boom there you go can't sleep let's go boys during the development you can also select additional features for your game basic sounds but your options will increase quickly okay you also see graphic type selected when you need to find the game so just remind you of your choice you can actually grab the game all right uh, world design. I want the world design to be so good. The graphics don't have to be that good. The sounds can be alright, but I want the world design to be fucking amazing, okay? Uh, graphic... Actually, yeah. The gra- well, no, I mean... Okay, I want the world design to be nice. I want you to be going around and, and I want it to be like, you know, the ship's got a lot of story behind it and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? I kind of want it to be like a, a Return of the Obra Dinn type of deal where like every piece of the ship has its own story to tell. You know what I'm saying? I don't want it to. I mean, it is going to be text based. So there's going to obviously going to be a lot of reading. So we're going to do uh, graphic. Let's I mean, it's basic sounds. So we don't really have to try too hard with the sounds, but I kind of want it to be like that. Alright. 
So we got 32k. That's all right. All right, so we're good now. All right, okay, from no Alright, All right, the development first game is not complete. You can purchase for a game. You should only know which fix the majority of the bugs. All right, this is a game without fixing bugs. It really affects your ratings, so you should only ever consider that if you need the cash and can you can't afford to wait. Or you could just release the game with a bunch of shitty bugs, wait an entire month for people to complain their asses off about it, and then you do something. But when you do something, it's only a minimal amount of effort just so that you can satiate the small number of people that are going to still be complaining about it. And then you start releasing all of the updates as DLC, and then you just force people to pay money for it, and it's just a lot of stuff. I mean, it works, apparently. Alright, so that's- I don't know what that's doing. Are we done? There's no bugs. I'm not seeing any bugs. So do I hit finish? Alright, the development game is not finished. While developing the game, you experience and improve your skills. When the is completed, you will be presented with a summary of the experience gained. Alright. 8 and a 7. Okay, that's not really that bad. Apparently, I can rename it. Alright. Dialogues are good. Level design was alright. AI was alright. World design was good. Turns. Is that good or bad? Trash game or release game. Ooh. Well, I don't know. It got an 8 and a 7. Out of what? Like a 10? I guess? No, we gotta release it. Listen! Your first one's always gonna be your worst one. Your game is now complete and will be handed off to publishing. We, sh we should see reviews and sales coming in for the game soon. Alright, great. Uh, the first reviews in Unity's game can't sleep. Come in. Hooray! Oof. Oof. Abysmal. Oh no! Okay, not much fun! Oh. oh! bad! Oh! Come on, baby! Someone throw me a bone! Pretty bad! Ah! Oh. Okay, well, after publishing a game, you can invest a little bit of time to analyze your creation, generate a game report. Game reports are a great way to gain research points as well as valuable insights into what works and what doesn't work when developing a game. To generate a game report, close this message and then click anyone's screen to bring up the action menu. Uh, generate game report. Unit sold. Uh, cost 41,000. Income. Uh, profit. Uh, released. Year one, four months in. Average review score two and a, two and a half out of ten. Fans. Uh, top, okay. Ay, ay, ay. Narcoleptic Games, a newcomer in the gaming industry, has just released the first game. Can't sleep. The game had a moderate response from reviewers. We are curious what Narcoleptic Games will deliver in the future. Ah. Uh, I don't even know what to do. Units. Alright. I mean, that's not really bad. 1,461 units in its first week on the market. Now that your game is on sale, you will receive the income from a game every week. And see how well your game is doing by looking at the graphs in the top right screen. Which is right over here. Alright. Uh, game reports are great to gain more research points and new insights. It pays off the generated report for each game you release. Now that you've completed your first game report, it's a good idea to look at the research menu. To open the research menu, close the message. Alright. Click on the screen to bring up the action menu. Uh, research. Okay. Research is important to unlock new options to make better games. You should try to save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine to greatly improve your games. Try to develop games with different topic and genre combinations for a slight research boost. Oh, man. Okay. A uh, new topic or custom? Alright, well, let's get a new topic. Vampire, alternate history, rhythm. I like alternate history. We'll do alternate history. Because that's pretty good. Now, how many sales is this? Like... What are we doing here? Oh, is this like months or something? Or what? Okay, no project. Uh, game history. So are we just waiting for that? You successfully... Okay. So we got, uh, what you call it? Uh, our post-release analysis of Can't Sleep is complete and we got the following result. It is an okay combination. Dialogue seems to be very important for this type of game. AI seems to be not important for this type of game. Is an okay combination. All right. So they weren't on, they, okay, they weren't entirely sold on the UFO adventure. All right, I can take a hint. Maybe you're not entirely happy about that one. All right, let's try, we're not going to make this, the sequel just yet. Okay, let's try and make a, 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 a different game, okay? Let's see, okay, let's pick the, we're not going to make the name yet. Let's try a pirate game. An action? No. Obviously, it's going to be a pirate adventure game. Or maybe it could be a pirate action game. Or a pirate RPG. I want to do pirate RPG. And let's do... Let's do this for... Actually, I don't know what's better. 
Market share is 57.1%. Is that good? Dev cost. Oh, uh, should we go PC first? I have no idea. Hold on. Oh, I see. That costs more. All right. Well, then here, let's do this. Let's make a pirate game called Ahoy. Should we do, because that's going to cost 58. Should we do 2D graphics? Let's do 2D graphics. Or we can do text-based. It's going to cost a lot less. Okay. But I kind of want to, I want to experiment. Let's experiment. Let's experiment. How, how well are we going to do? If we try and make a hoy, okay, the engine. Oh boy, okay. Story and quest. Story and quests are gonna be good. Gameplay, I wanna, I want it to be better, and the engine, I, I want it to be pretty good. I mean, I can like knock all this up here, but I don't really think we need to do that. So let's average everything that down. Uh, story and quest. I want the story and quest to be good. I want the game to be engaging. All right, gameplay. Right here we go, like this. And let's just make the engine the same as the gameplay. How about that? All right, it's a pirate RPG. Okay, we're making a decent amount. Game off the market. Can't sleep is not off the market. Great. Okay, development stage two. Dialogue. They're pirates. I kind of want, and it's also going to be AI. Level design. I kind of want the pirates to be able to talk properly. And I also want there to be like a decent amount, what do we want more of? I kind of want more dialogue and I want more level design to be fairly honest. So let's go with this a little bit here. All right. So what do I do about that? What else can I do? Game history. All right. Well, I can't do anything because we're uh... recent market studies suggest that the new Govador's G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the lower price. Greater availability and a flexible hardware configuration over the home computers. Steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Experts say that this might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. Okay, so maybe I shouldn't have gone on that. All right, well, World Designer wanted to be up there. Graphic, I kind of wanted to be up there. And sound, it doesn't really need to be all that much. Graphic, I kind of wanted to be up there, though. Or not graphic, World Design. This is okay. All right, so can't sleep is not to market. Six sixty-five hundred units, forty-five thousand five hundred seventy-seven in sales. We got seventeen grand. Oh, all right. Two bugs. Get the bugs out. No more bugs. Okay. Are we good? Okay. Okay. So we we don't have to finish it immediately. If we work on it a little bit more, we can actually get a little like more stuff out. One point six thousand. This game really needs to do good. Hooray! Okay. Apparently I can edit this. Alright. Upgraded the gameplay. Getting better with the story and quest. Dialogues and that nature. Alright. Turns. That's a beautiful name, by the way. I, I don't know if this is doing good, though. I guess we're just going to sort of... I guess we're just waiting. I guess we're just going... Let's release the game. Alright, here we go. New topic and new combo. Alright. Let's see how this goes. According to rumors, the Japanese company Ninvento is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Ninvento is known for the widely successful arcade game Dinky King. Uh, many industry ex experts doubt that home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to see what Ninvento will deliver. Alright, the first review for a new game released, Ahoy came in. Come on, baby! Give it to me! Oh, uninspiring. Alright, it's better than the first one. We're getting better. Come on, baby! Baby! Have seen better. Okay! Okay! Here we go. Falls a bit short. I'm not complaining. Do me good. Do me good! I like it. Let's go, boys. All games coming in with that clutch. We're getting better. Sorry, I, I got excited. We're getting better. We're getting better. We're getting better. Uh, research. Uh, 50 RP. New topic. 10 RP. Music. Uh, we got music, vampire, vocabulary, and rhythm. I don't want to do vampire, and I don't want to do vocabulary. All right. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Game history. Uh, so we did Ahoy on the PC, and we did Can't Sleep on the G64. Uh, 39,000, 41,000. Income, 45.6. Profit is... Wow. Jesus Christ. Okay. 4.6 so we don't really know yet all right i kind of want to wait to see what this is i kind of want to wait to see what they're going to say about this was so successful that we now have 70 fans yo lit boys 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 we now have 17 fans i can't believe it and we just made like a poop ton of money back i can't believe this 
Oh my god, I thought we were just gonna... F oh my lord. I was so worried about that. Hang on, let me see something. Week 4. Okay, month 10. Month 11, week 1. We got three fans! Okay, we got three more fans. So we're doing okay. We're selling up to 10,000 units right now. Ooh, Ninvento just got released. Ninvento's confirmed recent rumors and announced our plans to release a new home game called Nin called TES. Uh, or TES, or whatever. Uh, early next year, the console features cartridge-based games and a uniquely uh, designed control. Alright, so the, the NES is coming out. Uh, 922. Alright, so it's officially off the market. Sold 8,800. That is, like, what, two grand more than the last one? Because it sold... Because Can't Sleep sold 6,500. Generating 60,000. The last... Fuck, hold on. Wait, 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 Game history. Uh, ahoy, 20... Wow. Profit was way better. Oh, this was immensely better. Income, we got way more income. The cost was less. Uh, yeah, see, six and a half the grand... Then this sold, average review score is a 5, this is a 2.5, we didn't get any fans, top sales rank, 91, so it's not that bad, okay. Boys, we're not doing too bad, alright, listen, I'm pretty happy about that, oh shit, sorry, I was trying to get out of that, alright, I think we did pretty good. To Turns from Patrick and Daniel. Oh, look. Hi, Turns. We are the creators of Game Death Tycoon. We'd like to thank you very much for purchasing the game and supporting us. It is our very first game and it means a lot to us that you are enjoying it. With your purchase, uh, you can support our little startup and this will hopefully make sure that we can bring you more games in the future. Aww. Seriously, you rock. Thank you very much and have fun with Game Death Tycoon. Patrick and Daniel Club, Greenheart Games. Aww. Shouts out to Pat and Dan. Shouts out to these boys for making a fucking phenomenal game. Alright. We got six fans. Alright, boys. I'm gonna, because uh, I don't want to, like, mess anything up. Alright. This, this is, we're off to a pretty good start. I'm pretty happy about this, okay? So on that note, I'm going to end this episode here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode, because I certainly enjoyed making it. If you want to catch more content like this, be sure to like the video and subscribe. And I'll definitely catch you guys in the next one.